Hey there, ever dreamed of making a cartoon voice but feel like voice acting isn't your thing? Guess what? It's 2024 and making a cartoon voice is super easy now. I'm just like you, and I managed to clone a voice that sounds just like a cartoon character. Listen to this. Learn more about AI with AIcontroversy.com. Cool, right? And here's the best part. I'm going to show you how to do it using nothing but your computer. In this video, I'll walk you through each step to create your own voice clone in no time. It's quick, easy, and you don't have to be a computer genius. We're going to install a simple voice cloning program, find a free audio clip that's legal to use, make sure the track's long enough for cloning, and then, boom, we'll make a text-to-speech voice clone, just like that. Ready to give it a try? Let's get started. First, we need Pinocchio. Go to Pinocchio.computer, download and install it. Launch Pinocchio and click on the Discover tab. Now find Open Voice. It's the latest addition to Pinocchio, so that it will be at the beginning of the Discover tab. If you are watching this video somewhere down the line soon and Open Voice isn't the latest addition to Pinocchio, just search for it in the Discover tab. Now we need to click on Download, then click on Download again, and now click on Open Voice. Click on Install, and let it install. This process can take some time, so I suggest walking away from the computer or browsing the web while you wait. Sometimes, it feels like the installation is frozen, making you want to restart. Don't give in to your intrusive thoughts. Okay, perfect. Once it's downloaded, we can simply click Start. Let it load up, and click on the URL link like this. This will open in your web browser. I'll set this to dark mode by adding these parameters to the end of the URL like this. Perfect. Now, let us go over the settings. This is where we'll enter our text prompt. Here we can select different mood styles. These are the different mood styles to choose from. Default, Whispering, Cheerful, Terrified, Angry, Sad and friendly. This section is where we will replace our reference audio. This is the voice we want to clone. By default, this is what's selected. Have you uh, become experts in the deep learning algorithms? Have you, have you learned the state of the arts? Have you we can use our microphone and record straight from our microphone. If you want to record using your microphone, be sure to check this use microphone. And of course, you'll have to click on I agree to the terms of service located here. Here are some default examples that they have. Let's load this up and test these examples. Have you uh, become expert in the deep learning algorithms? Have you? Have you? Here is a whipster style. This audio is generated by Open Voice with a half performance model. You know, there's this, there's the scientific method, which I... He hoped there would be stew for dinner, turnips and carrots and bruised potatoes and fat mutton pieces to be ladled out in thick, peppered floor fat and sauce. And that is the settings for open voice. Now that we covered the settings, we need to find a reference clip. For this, I'll use Pixabay. Head over to sound effects and type something like cartoon voice. I ended up going with this yada 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 audio clip. This is what it sounds like. Yada 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 yada. This will do so let's download it. Now that we downloaded our reference audio track, we need to go back to open voice. Let's replace the reference audio with our newly downloaded track from Pixabay. Simple X out the default reference audio track and drag and drop our yada 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 clip. You can enter whatever text you want, but for me I'll leave it at the default text. Don't forget to check the I agree to the terms of service box. Hit send. Okay, so there seems to be an error. The reference audio is too short. No problem, we can fix that. First, go to audiomass.co. This is a free web-based audio editor. Very minimalistic and simplistic. I love it. Now, simply drag and drop our yada 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 clip here. Yada 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 yada. Perfect, I noticed there was a hard clip here. I'll just delete this section to clean up the audio a bit. Now let's select the audio with the voice. Copy it and paste it towards the end of the audio file. I'll repeat this one more time just to make sure we have enough audio. Yada, 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 yada. Yada, 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 yada. Yada, 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 yada. As you can see, it's just repeating, however, it's just used as a reference, so it will work just fine. Now click on File, then click Export slash Download. Save this extended track. The default settings are fine, however, I'll save mine in WAV format. Now that we have downloaded our extended audio track, it's time to go back to open voice. Let's try this one more time. Close out the default reference audio and replace it without extended track. Here I'll type the text to learn more about AI with AIcontroversy.com. Click the I agree and hit the send button. Learn more about AI with AIcontroversy.com.
Shopify.com. Very nice. We can try it out with different styles to find out which one works best for you. You've just learned how to clone voices using open voice. But what about creating a cartoon character that can lip sync perfectly, like the one I showed you at the start of the video? Learn more about AI with AIcontroversy.com. Guess what? It's simpler than it seems. Just click on this video right here, and I'll walk you through every step. That's all for now from AI Controversy. See you next time.